It's a, a good group because we avoid uh, France and England. Apparently, it's a good group. You have to show your level in, in the matches, and that's reality. And football reality is sometimes very, very sad. Oh, Norway, we are very happy because uh, Holland is, uh, I think, the, the, the biggest star now in the world football. And yeah, it's a. Uh, it's going to be very tough and we try to improve our level to to be in, to win the, the match against uh, Norway. And now we have some months to plan how to stop him. How are you going to do that? Yeah, the first thing is uh, try to avoid that he gets the ball and we are very very well in that. We'll try to do it as a team and try to to overcome the individuality of Holland Norway. We'll see. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's very difficult. Scotland is improving, getting better with uh, the results and with the, the way they play. I don't know. Georgia, it's, uh, we know very well Georgia because we played against them and they are improving also. And I don't know. Cheaper, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, a complicated game, of course. You know, we've just played them twice for very difficult games. Fantastic football nation with some good players. So um, yeah, we will have to be at our very best to take points from them. No, I think everybody's seen what North Macedonia did um, in the qualification for uh, the World Cup, and also Ukraine. We played them in uh, uh, Euros, and um, the scoreline looked comfortable, but it wasn't a comfortable game at all. They're, they're some very good players, so I think it's a really tough group. Yeah, it, it's um, uh, of course all of us are thinking uh, and sending our uh, prayers and thoughts to, to people in Ukraine anyway. Um, so the football is secondary to that. Um, but I know that the games they've had, they've played with tremendous pride and uh, a high level of performance, and I'm sure that will be the same uh, for our matches. We, we've got some good young players who are already part of our team and, and part of the squad um, and even the young ones now have, have got have started to get a reasonable number of caps so for 2024 that will be uh, that will be even more exciting you know more experience for them uh, a World Cup behind them as well so yeah uh, my feeling is England should be competitive for a long a long time our youth development is good our academy system is good um, we still have a problem with players getting the opportunity with their first team. You know, only 32% of our league is, is English qualified, so that is very low, and we don't export as many players as other countries do. Um, but that's been the same problem for the last five years, so it's um, no, no point me keep talking about it. Well, I think there's only, there's only eight games, um, so some windows will only have one one game, like in, for example, in, in in the World Cup draw, we had three games in six days in, in one window, three qualifiers in six days. So, so you know, we're, we're, we're comfortable with all that, and um, you know, I think uh, some great games: Ireland, Holland, Ireland, France. You know, Greece obviously are a much improved team and doing well again. And um, you know, we look forward to look forward to getting ready. Listen, it's, it's our big dream to. To get to, to get to Europe, which we're building for, building the team to do that, to get to the Euro European Championship finals in Germany. You know, the draw's been unkind to us, but regardless, you know, that's that's life. Just got, you've got to take every challenge that you know that life throws at you. And we've got a tough group, but we're improving. All the teams will take points off each other, and we've just got to make sure we're we're ready for the games and pull off uh, you know big results.